Hey guys, what's up? Caboose here. We're back in the Redstone world, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own battleship minigame. Um, I got this idea um, from, I believe it was Seth Blings, um, and I basically recreated it. And I'm also going to show you a neat little addition that I thought of, and to be honest, I'm not even actually sure it will work, but we're going to go ahead and try it. So basically, it's, I believe, 10 by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so 7 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 up and 7 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. So that's what you need for like the actual board of um, Battleship. Um, so technically you need to make the row of sevens by three, um, cause I, I put glowstone, you don't really need to, um, but I did, uh, just to light it up a bit. Um, but basically we'll go ahead and I guess just make a ship going up, a little patrol boat, I guess. Um, so basically what happens is you pull this lever and the torch goes off, which means it was a hit. And then let's say you guess here, pull the lever, there's no boat there or the wool, um, and that's the ship sizes at the bottom. Um, so you know that one's a miss, but the lever is pulled down so you know that you already went there. So you can be like, okay, well it goes up, torch goes off, and you're just like, okay, well let's see if it's any higher, but it's not. So yeah. And then you have to manually reset it. Um, basically, it's pretty simple to make. Um, yeah. So basically, you. I'm just gonna show you like one, um, like section, and then you'll know that you just need to basically recreate it um, all the way. So basically, you got this design. Uh, as you can see here, and then you just need to place these piston here, and then let's say you can just place your wool there, um, and then on the other side you have your, I just use lupus lapis because it's awesome, uh, you want to put the torch here where this redstone line is, um, and then the lever goes to the right of it and then as I'll get like an aerial view so you guys can see what goes on um, basically you pull this lever and it didn't work why didn't it work it should have worked um, oh because I placed the torch wrong so yeah the torch goes there actually um, so yeah as you can see uh, without the thing without the, I guess, ship or the wool, um, the torch doesn't go off, um, but basically, if it does have a ship, um, what you do is, you go like that, it ends up placing the wool right over the torch, um, which then powers this block, which also powers this line of redstone, which will then turn off that, um, torch, so yeah. Basically, you just gotta do that um, over and over again. Uh, remember, it's 10 up and 7 across of these that you need. Um, and I just kinda outlined it with iron blocks because it looked good, and also with uh, glowstone uh, just to light it up in case you end up playing the game into the night, you know. And then I just placed the ships at the bottom so you know what ships you need to place and then you can basically place it all over this board and then you take tur turns and whatnot but yeah basically a bunch of fun um, so now I'm going to attempt to see if my idea will work um, so bear with me I guess because um, you know it is battleship um, so I'm actually just going to you know, I'm not going to screw with this. I'm actually going to test it down here with this one that we have. 
Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is just replace everything with obsidian. Um, because it might get deadly. Um, also, those pigs might just die. So yeah, basically what you want to do, if that pig would get out of the way, is this. Uh, and then obviously line it so nothing else blows up along with it. So there you go, you got everything encased. You put the TNT there. Uh, let's just reset this real quick. So yeah, this is my idea. Like I said, it might literally blow up in my face, uh, but we'll see. So basically, you know, you got the same setup except for it's now has obsidian in the back. Um, so then if you place a black wool there, what should happen Oh, hold on. Oh, let's just go like that. Oh, and also it might help if we have TNT explodes. Um, which means I think we can actually put it in there. We'll see. So, yeah. Basically, you know, you're playing Battleship, and when you actually hit a boat... Okay, I guess that doesn't work. Um, so, I guess let's... Again, I placed it in the wrong spot, didn't I? Yes, I did. I'm really good at that. I keep placing it down there for some reason. So, yeah. Alright, test three, I guess. Or take three. Well, yeah. That's basically what happens, and then after a while, you know, you get the effect of it actually blowing up. Now, I think... Um, if I place this torch in the right spot, not there, but there and then do this that it shouldn't actually end up blowing up the redstone work I'm really good at placing that towards the right freaking spot <sighs> there we go so now no, okay, it still blows up the redstone. So, let's, um, tweak this design, I guess. Make it go out a little bit more. Uh, well, let's see if it blows up from there. Uh, we're gonna need to place the torch there. Let's move it out to... To right here, I guess. Is where we will have it. Alright, so, yeah, it will work, um, however, the TNT will obviously be delayed a bit, um, but that's just because it's, it takes a little bit for the TNT to actually detonate, you can't have it detonate instantly, um, at least on this update, I think you can in the, one of the new snapshots or whatever, but yeah, so, you go like this, and then the torch goes off, and you wait a few seconds, it blows up, and it will still blow up the redstone, but it won't blow up the redstone that actually hooks up to the torch. So, if you wanted to add a little twist to Seth Bling's um, idea that I took from him, um, you can just add obsidian or even bedrock, I guess, but, you know, um, either way, those are the only two things that don't blow up. Um, so yeah, and then obviously you would just have to go back and replace it, but I don't actually think you would need that, um, obsidian on top, just because it will still blow it up, um, however, you don't have to worry about it, like, going all the way to here, let's say, and blowing it up, because it's far enough away, so yeah, basically, if you wanted to add a little bit more, I guess, realism, ish to it um, you can just add on with the obsidian now of course if you didn't want to do all this piston work and whatnot and you just wanted to you know make it in um, like actual server where it's non-creative uh, what you could just do is set it up so it's 10 by 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. 
So yeah, basically you just set it up like that and then you can set up, let me just grab a torch, um, set it up so it's like this, you know, at the bottom, um, you basically fill this all in with lapis lazuli, also known as lupus lapis, um, so yeah, you fill it in like this, and then you can place like your, you know, now that I think about it, this does not seem like the right dimensions. Let me, let me recount real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know, it just, it just seems weird. It almost seems like it needs to go out more. I don't know. But yeah, um, two, three, four. Five, let's say you want to have your big ship there. Yeah, this is definitely not the right dimensions, but basically you'll get the gist of it You can expand it more um, for like the actual size um, I thought I had the right size, but apparently now that I make it like this it doesn't really seem like it But oh well, so yeah, and then like let's say the other players, you know because you'll have the um, other board like this um, I guess so you won't be able to see like the other players side you know that comes out like this and whatnot um, you won't be able to see their board but basically you play here so you can be like uh, C1 or C2 I guess and if it's a hit um, you can place a redstone torch and if it's a miss you can just place like a normal torch and then when they make their moves um, you can just you know have it a hit or a miss you know stuff like that and then uh, yeah that's basically it um, I guess so basically you could set it up like this you know I don't even know if I have it the right dimensions but probably not uh, you can always like look up the actual dimensions for the real battleship game online um, I thought I did when I made that, but apparently I didn't get the right one or whatever. Or maybe I did, I don't know. So yeah, that's that's Battleship in Minecraft. Um, and then you can just obviously outline this with a block of iron or whatever really. Um, just make it look nice, and then you can even put signs on it that say a through whatever and then one through whatever uh, just to you know outline it so people know uh, what to call and then obviously this one requires the actual trust of another player to not say oh you missed even though you actually hit but then again so doesn't this you know like you're required hoping that people don't do like a ship like that where it's actually on a diagonal um, so yeah basically you just gotta play with the right people um, and hopefully those people don't cheat so uh, yeah as always uh, if you guys want to see a certain thing uh, just let me know we have sliding door tutorials left the connect four left the clock left uh, which will be two or three episodes depending um, and then we also have the block switcher and I'm also going to be building something else soon um, that I was suggested to attempt so yeah this has been battleship in minecraft um, with the quote-unquote realism to it uh, realism twist that I thought of um, so yeah leave a comment in the comments um, below of what you'd like to see next um, or if there isn't something here but you'd still like to see it uh, let me know uh, and I will attempt to make it and if I can successfully make it then I'll make a video of it next Sunday so, I've been Caboosus here. Like, subscribe, favorite for more. Do all of them, do not all of them. It's up to you. I won't force you. I'll catch you guys next time.